today's lesson is going to be on polygons. So poly, just so that everyone's clear, poly just seem, means many. And gons here simply has to do with sides. So what we're talking about here is shapes. So we're talking about many-sided shapes. So a couple important words that we want to make sure that everyone understands is the first one is what is a regular polygon? So a regular, and that's to contrast something that would be irregular. So a regular polygon is simply a polygon with all sides the same and all interior angles the same. So both of these statements have to be true. <coughs> the sides must be the same, and all the interior angles are the same. So for example, something like a square is an example of a regular polygon. This side is the same as this side, is the same as this side, is the same as this side. Also, all the angles are 90s, so a square is an example of a regular polygon. If I looked at something like a rectangle, you can see this side is the same as this side, but this side here is not the same as that side. All the angles are the same, but not all the sides are the same. So a rectangle is an example of something that is not a regular polygon. The next example I have for you is something called a rhombus. So a rhombus has four sides that are all the same length. So I tried to draw that all the same length, but if you'll notice here, the angles are not the same. This angle right here is the same as this one, but it is different than those two. So you can see this one would not be an example of a regular polygon. So you can see we've got different kinds of shapes here. Some are regular. Regular means same length on each side with all the same angles. And irregular simply means that the sides and the angles aren't necessarily all the same. Next word I just want to introduce you to, uh, because you might see it in some of the questions that you tackle, is a word called congruent. Congruent just simply means the shape is identical in size and identical in shape. So for example, if you had a triangle over here, and you wanted to figure out if it was congruent, with a triangle over here. Simply all you would do is you would probably trace this triangle and all you would do is try and overlap it and see if it fits perfectly over top of the other triangle. If it does fit perfectly over top, it is considered to be congruent. It is the same size and shape. So just so you know what congruent means. That's your quick lesson on today's topic. Have a great day.